2005, and the 31st of August 2005. That's anybody who just reached their five-year anniversary. You know something, folks? This process takes less than two minutes, is 100% free. Again, please start doing this effective immediately. Once a month at the end of every month, Send an email to acknowledge all your new members. Send an email to everybody who has just reached their one-year anniversary or three-year or five-year anniversary with you. Are you interested in surviving these hard financial times and keeping your membership base uh, when the economy recovers? Uh, having these people who have stuck it out with you, who thoroughly love you, recommend a lot of their friends now that things are improving. These things are so important, especially in today's times. And the power of the iGo Figure software helps you with this. Okay. Getting a lot of great comments. People seem to really appreciate the stuff that uh, that we're telling them. And again, it's great to know it only works when you use it. So it's simple. It's 100% free. Please start using this stuff. And of course, birthday. What I would do here is, and you know, I can do this today because it's the 26th of August. Uh, send an email to anyone who has a birthday coming up in the month of September because you're hitting them within four days. And just send them an email and say, just a quick email to let you know, I know your birthday's coming up in September. So just wanted to say, happy early birthday. Please be sure to come in for a workout on the day of your birthday. We'll be sure to embarrass you. I mean, celebrate you here at our club. Okay, enough on this. I really hope that this gives you some good information about what you can do in Incredibly powerful stuff that you can do with a simple report wizard. Real quick, time absolutely flies, and I do want to get back to the basics, especially if any of you had your employees join now. I am going to show you one other thing that is pretty nifty. It is in version 3.6 as of right now. Uh, sometimes people don't exactly know about it. Uh, this can, again, really help with making your members love you more. So hopefully they will stay with you longer and also recommend their friends. And that's what it's all about. And then I'm going to save a lot of these other goodies for our next I Can't Together, which will hopefully be coming up here pretty soon. We will communicate with you and let you know. And uh, Ruth, I've got to read this because this is so wonderful. Ruth Ann Schroeder says, we will be celebrating 10 years. What a great idea for our celebrations. And Ruth, that is so commendable that you are celebrating 10 years. Um, that is absolutely awesome. I do know personally a handful of people, including... My boss, Kyle, who has uh, been 10 years or more since they started, so you've been around since one of the very beginning, and that is awesome. And I know that your members, especially if any of them have been with you for that entire amount of time, will certainly appreciate that. Okay, one final little tidbit here. If we go here to member records, and let's go here to Maria Hernandez. Again, this is a training database we use, folks. This is all made-up information, photos that we downloaded from a royalty-free website. We would never actually show you. Uh, you know, real club database. We absolutely made up all these names, downloaded these photos, and uh, made up account information. So, what I want to show you here in this hypothetical example is as follows. We'll go here to Maria's personal tab. Let's click here on edit. And there is something that's been in the software for a while now that started in version 3.6 that is really, really nice and useful. You see right here it says language preference. And the language preference by default is going to be English. But, Take a look at what other choices are available here. It's really kind of very impressive. I can set Maria's default language to Arabic, Chinese, and two different versions of Chinese, simplified or traditional, Danish, Dutch, French, German, Hebrew, Hindi, Hungarian, Italian, Japanese, Portuguese, Russian, Spanish. I think there's about 18 different languages. And if I set one of these, uh, as you can guess by her surname here, Maria Hernandez, uh, let's say that maybe... Uh, her first language or her native tongue is Spanish. So I can set her language preference to Spanish. Let me tell you what this does. It changes every interaction that the member has with your iGo system into their language preference, meaning every time Maria scans in, it now welcomes her in Spanish. So it no longer says, welcome, Maria. It says, hola, or whatever it is in uh, Spanish. Uh, and it welcomes her. If it's her way and measure day and it says, don't forget to get weight and measure today, it says that to her in Spanish. If she has any type of a special message, like happy birthday or please see a staff member, that's in Spanish. Next, every printed report, every invoice, form and receipt she gets is in Spanish. If she buys a protein shake and you print her out her invoice or receipt, it's going to be in Spanish. And when she gets her way and measure report, it's going to be in Spanish. Now, this is a great little customer-enhanced service feature. 
And it can also help you to get members. Let me tell you one of the first stories that we heard uh, very shortly after we put this feature into the software. There was a club, I believe it was somewhere in the northeastern part of the United States. And this particular club was next to a community that had a very large Greek population. It was the Greek area of town. There were a lot of Greek folks. And they had really reached out to that community and try as hard as they might. They were never really able to make much progress there. They had two or three members, and that was about it. Well, when this feature came out in the software, and you will notice that Greek definitely is one of the languages, she went through for those three members, and she set their default language to Greek. The next day, in the morning, all three of them, because they're all friends, came in to work out, and each one scanned in, and by coincidence, it was one of their birthdays, and a different one had a way in measure. So all three were welcomed in Greek. The one that had a birthday was told happy birthday in Greek, and the one who got her way in measure report was in Greek. They said that within the 30-day time frame, they had 35 new members from the Greek community. And it was all from word of mouth and these three ladies telling uh, their friends in the Greek community about the computer system there at the club. And in specific, I think one of them had shown her way in measure report. Oops, let me tell you something. A lot of times when you have trouble uh, making headway into the local ethnic community, it's not because they're snobby or stuck up or they like to keep to themselves or anything else that we might associate as a stereotype. It's a language issue. A lot of these times these people don't speak English very well might be the case, and they feel a little bit nervous about coming in. Uh, they're seeing stuff fast and furious. They're getting receipts. They've got this way and measure report they need to look at. The computer's giving them information when they scan in. And they just feel it's a little too fast and a little too furious. And you know what? When your computer system can even talk to a member in their native tongue, it goes a long way. And you could find that you really start to pick up the membership at your facility by using this feature. Okay. There are a ton of other features, powerful features, in the iGoFigure software. Very similar to the stuff that I'm showing now. And Kelly is saying, show us more, show us more, show us more. Kelly, I would love to, but we have less than 20 minutes left. I want to be very respectful of your guys' time and right on the hour like I promised that we would. I promise you, this is our first camp, but by far will not be our last eye camp. And it looks like we've got an extremely positive reaction to this so far. We will keep you informed. Please tell your friends about these eye camps. And I promise you there's going to be a lot more good stuff, not only just me showing you things in the software, but we plan on having, like I said, guest interviews, bringing your colleagues in this field uh, and interviewing them and having them share some of their great success stories and ideas that they've done to increase their business.